The mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, says every community in the city will see asylum seekers in coming days. Watch this. Staten Island and other uh, communities, they are going to, everyone is going to see asylum seekers. So all the calls that I'm getting from elected officials, all the calls that I'm hearing from people of saying, you know, um, please not here, uh, that is just can't happen. This is a citywide crisis and all of us are going to be impacted. You can't have it both ways. Either we're in this together or we're not. We have a special guest on this, Father Robert Sirico, who joins me now. Father, big picture for a second. What should the Christian response be to this migrant problem in New York City? Of course, that's not the big picture. That's the little picture. That is the micro picture. Is it the individual uh, response? Yeah, it has to be an individual response. I think, you know, this is obviously a volatile issue, and I think people are angry about the policy dimensions of what leadership has not done for years. Yeah. But the individual response has to be a charitable response. I mean, if we're moral people, the human person is of great value. And the person who stands before us in need, who's uh, dispossessed of everything, uh, demands of us a, a charitable response on this individual level. That's what I said in an editorial just a few days ago. I said, you come across someone in need, and you as you a human respond. being respond to that right, person. Right, right. I was deluged with criticism I on imagine. the grounds that that would encourage more people to come. What's encouraging people to come is the policy, the open border. All of that is what's encouraging people to come. People are coming for hope. The, my ancestors came to this country right here, uh, and they experienced it. With $50 in his pocket, my grandfather came, and now, uh, you know, his, his children and grandchildren all became part of the American fabric. But the policy was very different then than it is now. But we cannot take the entire population of, of Central America and, of and parts not. of Mexico. We can't of do that. Of course not. But so, that's a policy question. So the policy has to be changed. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Are you satisfied with the response on an individual basis? I'm afraid that the policy is impinging yeah. on our sense of responsibility. This is, again, uh, an example of how the government can corrupt and corrode our moral, moral sensibility. We have to respond charitably. So uh, we need to make these distinctions so that people can direct their anger where it needs to be directed and not at the individual who's vulnerable. Father Sirico, you're an ideal guest on this particular <laughs> day, and we thank you very much for being Good here. Good to be with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Appreciate it.